Today we are covering how to install Tailwind CSS version 4 using Post CSS. While the official documentation is helpful, it doesn't provide a clear step by step guide, so I have simplified it for you. We will be setting this up in a vanilla project, means we will just use HTML and CSS files, and we won't be using any frameworks like Next.js or build tools like Wheat. Since each setup has its own approach, this guide will make you understand the core process before applying it in elsewhere. First, let's create an index.html file in the project folder. Okay, now let's install the dependencies. We'll copy this command. We'll paste it here. Along with this, we also have to include OCSS CLI. Because in order to build this project, we need a build command which will be provided by PostCSS, and that command is provided by this dependency. Since we are not using Vite or Next anything, we need a build command and using PostCSS, and this provides that. That's why we are installing the CLI. So this will add node modules and package.json to our project. In the meantime, let's create the styles.css folder file. You can name it anything. I'll just name it styles.css. And there we have to import this relevant CSS. So once this post CSS is installed, now you have to create a post CSS config file. So right click in the root of the project so name it postcss.config.js in the documentation they mentioned mjs but for some reason it did not work i just used .js and it is working so let's go with that and copy this code so that's all uh, now we have to create a build command since npm run dev does not work for this project we have to use something else so by going to package.json here we'll add uh, scripts i'll add a build command and then a watch command So post CSS and then you have to write your input file so which is in the root folder so just styles.css then hyphen o output then you have to specify the output folder i'll write dist styles.css and i'll copy this again and here instead of build i'll write watch and add the watch to to the command save it now let's try npm run watch don't worry about this warning in the postcss.config we are using export default means this is the latest version of es ecmascript but in our package.json we did not mention that that is what it is saying so as you can see here we can add this type module to the package.json and it will this warning will go away let's save i'll close this I'll use again now as you can see you don't have that warning and we have our dist folder created with styles.css now we have to go back to index.html import that styles file first and let's see our output 
as soon as we save the font should change already you can see that it changed now let's add some background just to confirm i'll add some padding as you can see it changed this is how we install tailwind css version 4 using post css if you found this video helpful don't forget to like the video and drop a comment if you have any questions or video requests uh, related to react view on tailwind css thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one